In today's experiment, we are going to learn about this instrument called as DM4 Crowd Crammer Thickness Measurement Gauge. So we'll be using some of the instruments like we have a probe here. This is a dual element probe. You can see two elements here. This one is first element, second element. One is used as transmitter and the other one as a receiver. And then we have a step block gauge with various th thicknesses and we have dual limo connector and some oil as coupled so let's start the experiment by connecting the wires so you can see on the top side you have two openings here for the limo connector so let me just put this one here i'm trying to connect this one This goes here and the other one connects to to the probe. Now it is connected. Now first step, let's try to learn more about the controls and how to operate this DM4 thickness gauge, ultrasonic thickness gauge instrument. So First step is press on this on button. You see the machine is on. Let's focus on here. So we have very few buttons over here. You have mode, dual multi and calibration and on. And then you have up and down button. Here if you can see on the top side, maybe it's not clear. Yeah, maybe from here you can see top side it's written as THK. Maybe if I just change the angle. Yes, now you can see clearly. So top side you can see near my nail is THK. THK means thickness. So I can straight away start measuring it. But first we need to calibrate the instrument. So let's go for how to calibrate the instrument. So for everything you need to press this mode button. Once you press mode, you'll see on the top side 2PT. This is for two point calibration of this thing, of this instrument using two different thicknesses. We can actually calibrate it without inputting the material velocity. Now this one, this setting is off now. That means we are in one point calibration. So let's press the mode button again and see what happens. It goes to velocity. Here you can manually input the velocity. It's very easy. Whenever you want to input something in this instrument, just press on calibration, CAL cal button. Then you see a calibration just blinking below the screen. When it is blinking, you can actually use this arrow keys to just change the velocity. See, I'm just changing it to 5920, the normal material velocity for steel so I just change it to 5920 velocity of steel now the velocity is set but what about let me just press the mode button again it will give you know you just press calibration once once it goes off then I can press the mode button these are some other different methods minimum it will take the minimum reading of all the values of all the scans you're performing we'll go into that later on and then you have some special option like differential mode so let's not go into that before so let's go for two point calibration first so how do i do it just press this mode button so when you see this two point calibration on the top side so here you can see two point calibration is off. I can just press the calibra calibration button and then use the arrow key. Now it is on. Then press again the calibration. Now this two point calibration has started. So once it is started, now is asking for the low reading. What is the what is the lowest limit you're going to lower thickness you're going to measure? 
so we can take any of the steps so we let's take the second step so let's try to measure what is the thickness of this one so let me just try to measure it the thickness using a one year caliper So the thickness comes around something like 2 mm. So thickness is 2 mm. So we'll take this block as our minimum reference, this second step. So first thing first, you need to put some oil on this one. You need coupling. Without coupling, you'll get a wrong reading. So we have coupling here. Now let's just put this probe over here and let me just go back here and put this instrument next to this probe you can see once I put this one he's just trying to calibrate it so I think the oil is not enough Now you can see, we're just putting the probe on the second step and you can see it should read 2mm but it's not reading 2mm. Let me just hold with one hand here, another one setting the values to 2mm. So it should be coming as 2mm. Sometimes it comes as double, that is called as doubling. So let me just make it so it's almost two. Let me just reduce a little bit. So it's nine point nine one point nine six. So it's almost nearly equal to two so we have calibrated it to two now after this one just press the calibration button again now he's asking for a higher value so that means a higher thickness value for calibrating it so let's try to measure the calibration i mean the thickness of the higher side using a one caliper so So, the readings come as let me zoom in here it is coming around 8 mm let's be sure and do it one more time So it's coming 8 mm. So now we know the thickness of the higher side is 8 mm. So what do we do? We just put some coupling at this thick up section. Just one drop, not is enough. And then put the probe over here. And once you put it, it's reading 8.08. So I can reduce a little, maybe one reading and check again. I can do one more time, I can just change the reading, reduce a little bit. Now it's coming as 8.00. So that means it's calibrated now. After this is done, and one more point, once you try to Put, once, once you put this probe perfectly over on some surface, you'll see one small sign near the calibration. You can see this small dot. That means the contact is good. If the contact is not good, then you'll not see that sign. That's for 
perfect contact now this is done now let's press calibrate and machine is calibrated once the machine is calibrated you can see I can measure anything and on the top side it will say two point calibration along with thickness so now I can measure any kind of thickness here I think this one is 1 mm so if I put here this is 2 mm so it's 2 mm shown here so the main problem with very small thicknesses like for example the first thickness is 1 mm if I put it it will give me something like 2 mm reading this happens because of a problem called as doubling it will give me the double value or it will take the second echo the fourth reflection echo so mostly we I try to avoid that so you can see second step is 2 mm I think the third one is 3 mm yes that's true now the machine is calibrated using two point same thing we can do using one point calibration so in one point calibration first thing is we need to switch off two point calibration so I'm pressing mode you can see it's saying two point is on so how do I switch it off press on calibration button then use the arrow key it is off now now if I want to set it press on calibrate again now two point button two point calibration is off now if I press it again now I'll see the velocity this is the velocity of the material calibrated by the two point method but I can change it. How do I change it? If I press this one, nothing will happen. Now, whenever you want to change something, press on calibration button over here. Once the calibration option is blinking here, you can just increase it. Let's try to make it 5920. Okay, this is for steel. Then again, press the calibration button. Now this is set. Press on mode button this one this one i can just press till it goes to off and then again so we are off that options now you can see you can only see thickness thk mode there's no two point calibration but how do i calibrate it so let's take example here let me just put it here at 8 mm that's what i know all right so in one point calibration, you just need to set the velocity that's already been set and then just hold it at one segment where you know the exact thickness. So here the thickness is somewhat 8 point something, 8.0. So it's showing 9.76. So you can just press calibration button. So once the calibration button is pressed, you can actually hold this one here you can see we can increase a little bit so let me just hold it here and increase by two points so let's see how much it has increased so now i think it's calibrated yeah, roughly it's calibrated now i can just press calibration button again now the thing is calibrated so this is how you do the calibration now you can see it's calibrated i can measure all the readings here this is 2 mm this is 3 mm if i try to measure the first one i get a wrong value because it's too small for the probe to read if i go for fourth maybe there's not enough yeah this is 4 mm so same way i can measure now this is good for testing whatever piece you want to test that's it for today. We'll continue with other operations in the next class. Thank you.